they called him King George on the football pitch. And Liberians hope former superstar George Weir can replicate that success as their new president. I'm here because of George Weir. I love him so much. He is not a hero, but we are poor people. That is why I'm here. I'm here because of my country. He is not a hero. Do more for us. That is why I'm here. I'm so happy. I've been behind him since 2014. It's support like this that helped him defeat main rival and then vice president Joseph Bokai in a runoff election on December the 26th. Something where himself is quite aware of. I further believe that the overwhelming mandate that I, that I receive from the Liberian people is a mandate to end corruption in public service. I promise to deliver on this mandate. But that may not be an easy task in a country still coming to terms with its violent past. Ending corruption eluded his predecessor, who had been inaugurated with similar hopes. Former President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011 for her role in ending conflict in Liberia. The two civil wars were some of the most brutal on the African continent. Widespread rapes and massacres were carried out by drug child soldiers between 1989 and 2003. When the war ended, Johnson Sirleaf beat George Weir in peaceful elections. But the optimism surrounding her appointment has long since faded. Accusations of nepotism and endemic corruption led to a sharp fall in her popularity. Her term was also marred with poor economic growth and rampant unemployment, currently standing at more than 60%. That has disillusioned ordinary Liberians, who have now invested their hope in wear. He says his priority is to help the poor. But there is also unease about his statements supporting lesser taxes on big business, leading many to ask, can he drag the country out of its current economic crisis? Shoaib Hassan, the newsmakers.